Um, so today, ladies and gents, uh, today's KH talk is just gonna be listening to some KH2 music. Hell yeah. So here's the format. We're gonna listen to the original first, and then we're gonna listen to the HD remix afterwards, right? And then collectively, we're going to decide uh, which one we like better. I have a column for chat, and then I have a column just for me, and we're just going to see how the discrepancy goes. I think this will be pretty fun. I'm actually, I've been really excited to uh, to do something like this for uh, for a long while, and it's finally actually happening. So I'll poll you guys, uh, I'll throw down my, my personal opinion, and then we'll just kind of go from there. This will definitely take a while because it's a long soundtrack. I tried to make sure to vet the soundtrack as best I could to get rid of any tracks that I thought weren't worth like listening to or ones that weren't changed whatsoever so like dearly beloved for instance we're not going to be listening to that because the original and the remix they use the same exact sound file it's not updated at all so we're not going to worry about that sort of stuff all right let's let's get going <laughs> Yeah, this is the MIDI. This is really good. Yeah, Lazy Afternoons is good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this shit's good. Oh, the Soprano Sax is not MIDI? Okay. Thank you. That's some that's information that I did not know at all. That's actually really cool. So that's the original. Uh and then let me swap over to the uh here we go. So the, swap over to the HD version and I'll um I'll I'll put up the poll. This is tough, isn't it? The sax is really good. The guitar is really nice. That's something that you don't get in the original. I think the remix kind of car carries over the the soul and energy of the original, and it just kind of makes it better, which I think is what the remix is like intended to do most of the time. <laughs> it's great, dude. I think it's really good. Hard choice is probably going to be the theme of the night. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think so. I think for a lot of these, it's going to be really, really close. But I think we're going to get to some points. We're going to get to some tracks that are really going to highlight the major differences between the two. All right, looks like it's pretty unanimous here. Looks like Lazy Afternoons goes to HD Remix. Uh, and I think I agree with you guys. Like, personally, I love the original. I think the original is really good. But... I, 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 I think the, the HD remix kind of takes it home for me too. Like they're both, it's so hard. Like I, I wouldn't be upset if I had to choose either one. All right, Sinister Stundown. We've got a lot of these to go through, so I'm gonna try and get through, through them as, real, as quickly as possible, uh, if I can. I love the fucking <laughs> MIDI horns in the background, the trumpets. I think the sinister, uh, sinister sundown is really good on. Uh, is good on the original. Let's uh, move over to the the HD remix. The uh, the violin is definitely an upgrade, but I actually think I'm gonna I personally am gonna go with the original. 
Yeah, the remix. The, exactly. I think the remix isn't bad, but I think that the um, I think the originals got the got the the original feeling. I don't know how to how else to phrase it. It is it is a different vibe. Let me listen to the original again. I wanna. W what's different? I mean, obviously the dudes are different. I think it's when it gets to here. I love that percussion. I think that's what it is. And it's not like the it's not like the remix is bad, but I just I think that I like that better. HD remix, it goes for chat. Uh, I'm gonna go with the original. I, I think that's what kind of makes this whole thing super interesting. Is that there's gonna be like little bits that some people like and other people don't like. I'm a sucker for the remixes violins. That makes sense. I don't think anybody can really disagree. Like the 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 violins just straight up sound better in the HD remix. But like as a collective whole, it's like I think that's where it gets a lot more in intriguing. All right, here we go. Oh shit. Uh. Mini game music. Uh 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 uh. uh. Mm, mm, press triangle. Alright, let's move over to the next one. Uh hmm. The tempo's the same. It's got weird synth noises in there, which I mean aren't bad, but like, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think the OG. I I think I like the OG more on this one. I don't know what you, what do you guys think? Yeah, a lot of you guys are going with the OG. I think the Maramba is respectable, but the original just hit the minigame feel. Yeah. 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 No, I I think. I I, I don't know what it is, but like MIDI for some reason it just kind of like screams minigame a lot of the time. So I kind of I kind of feel that. I kind of definitely feel that. So we're definitely <laughs> we're in agreement, chat. All right, dive into the heart. MIDI is um, the instrumentation, digital instrumentation used for the PS2. Uh, let me get rid of. Oh shit. Yeah, they definitely shortened Estadi in two. It was way more pronounced uh, as like a as a theme in KH1. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for it to I'm not sure if it actually changes at all past this. Does it change like right around here? Yep. Oh, it's so good, dude. That shit gets your Oh, that shit gives you fucking goosebumps. All right, sweet. This one. Here we go. Damn, that piano goes hard. Wait for it. I'm waiting. Man, you guys are like unanimous. Like the the remix is better. Okay, this part of the this part of the chorus definitely sounds better. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the piano. The piano is way too heavy. But it's whatever. The, the choir is so much better. Yeah, it's it's way too loud. I don't know why someone... I don't know why the person on the piano is going so heavy on it. Oh, yep. Okay, that kind of... That, that sells it for me right there. That, that bit with the... Uh, with the strings that's not fair it's not even fair dude it's just it's just so good it's yeah that's <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go with hd remix on this one i don't like the piano but i think i like everything else so much that i uh yeah if it had a lighter piano i think it would have just been blown out of the water easily but i guess not this time around let's uh let's move on uh fragments of sorrow mm, mm, mm.
Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. <laughs> that's really good. What do you guys think? Do I give? I'll, I'll give. I'll. We'll listen to it and then I'll. I'll put down one minute poll midway through. Wow. I love the. Um, this is good too. Yeah, it is a lower octave. Yeah, the, the strings are really rich. That's I think that's the word I was looking for. Damn, remix immediately. Holy shit. I think I like the OG just because of the percussion or because of the um because of the doot doots. I don't know. I'm really surprised that this is so heavily in favor of the remix. Yeah, no, I think they're both really good. I I think I personally really like the OG better on this one. H3 Remix it is here. I'm going to go original. Look at me. I'm the original purist. Maybe I truly am the, the degenerate speedrunner <laughs> over here. It's time for Tension Rising. Oh, dude, you, you guys ready to get upset? Because I, I can tell immediately. <laughs> Yeah, this shit's good. And those dudes. Ah, oh, it's so good. Ah, it's so good. Yeah, tension rising is just really good. I don't know what they they just fucking killed it in the OG. It's 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 so good. I think I kind of already know who <laughs> that the OG is gonna win here. But just for the sake of fairness, we're gonna listen to the uh, to the the HD version as well. All right, tension rising. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. The piano isn't really. The piano is so strong in the OG. Uh, whoops. There we go. Oof. Oof. Annihilated. And then it doesn't have the amazing dudes in the background here. The percussion in general on the HD version is kind of muddled, which is unfortunate. And then this part, this is supposed to be like the big part right here, and I, I don't really feel anything going on. This is, like, this is it. This is the chorus. Like, this is supposed to be so strong. Like, listen, listen to the original when we hit, the, when we hit the chorus. Yeah. Okay. I think I think we uh, I think we I think we we we, <laughs> we nailed this one. Tension rising, definitely, kicking some butt. All right. Next up is uh, next up is Kyrie. I think it's good for what it is, for what it is, but. Um, I think I think you guys are gonna see what happens when we get to the um, when we get to the the remixed version, like wh wh how they really how <laughs> how they kind of fixed it, I guess. It's a really pretty theme though. Kyrie's theme is great. Yeah, exactly. The, the, this is a very this is a very delicate sort of track, and it's hard to really do it justice with MIDI. But once you actually have like a, a true orchestra, that's when you can really do something with it. Here we go. Yeah. Like you can just like you can just instantly tell. You can you can just like immediately tell. Yeah, the flute is just like yeah. Yeah, it's it's not even. It's not even close. It's, 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 it's just, you can just kind of instantly tell. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> this episode is a tearjerker already. It's really good. It's just really good. The piano is fantastic as well, and usually I think the piano on the, um, on the in the original is better, but it's just it's it's not even close here. It's just fantastic. This is almost the same as with Kyrie, I think. This, I mean, like this is also a pretty sad track. I don't. I mean, actually, I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait until like we get to the HD version. Because I think both are good. But I think... I, I have a feeling that the HD remix is going to blow this one out of the water again. Oh yeah, there's this part. I forgot about this part. Yeah. Which, yeah. I, like, again, this is... Like, it's good. But I also feel like once you actually bring in proper orchestrated instruments and you can bring in very specific intonation with, like, actual specific players playing it, you can really do justice to something like this. Yeah, yeah, it, I, I think, I don't think it's, I don't think it's blowing it out of the water, but you can kind of tell how, the onions are being cut here, like this is super soft, yeah, wait till we get to like the second part, well, I mean, we might not actually have enough time with the pole going. I think, I don't know, I think it might actually be too soft. This part right here, it's like, okay, we're finally getting somewhere. I think it's still better. I think, I think, I think it just kind of is a little bit better. I think it, if, if anything, it's like the same, just like a tiny bit better than the, uh, than the original. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Remix on this one. It's good, they're both good. I, I, I just think that the actual instruments just like play better this way. It, it should be a little bit stronger. Oh shit. Those dudes, that god the fucking MIDI trumpet has so much passion in its heart. It's so, like, this is, man, this is a classic. This is, this is a classic song right here. And then I love that piano right there. I love that little bit. Oh my god. It's so unfair. I think I already know which one I, I'm picking. I because I've I've talked about this a lot at length in previous streams. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. God, it's so it's so fucking good, dude. This one's good too. I'm not trying to. I'm not. I'm really not trying to shit talk this one. This one's good too. The violin's really good. Like I like you guys are totally right. The violin is is fantastic in this one. Violin wins. Ah, I see. I think. I think. I. I think. I see what you guys like in chat. The piano is more impactful. I think that the piano is more impactful in the uh, in the original, but that's just me. I, mean, I. I feel it more there. The new piano is pretty decent. Yeah, this one. This one's really tough. See that part right there. It's good. I just think, um, like, if I had to personally choose, like, I immediately feel it when I listen to this one. I don't know what it is about the original, but it's just got this force. It's got this power that it's that's carrying through the entire way through. Like, I think these piano, this piano sounds great. Like, I know the, the original or the the remix version piano sounds fantastic, but this one, I'm still like, this is really good. <laughs>
You know, I really don't know about this one, actually. I don't, I'm not sure if I have a huge opinion on Roxas in the original versus the remix. This one's pretty sad. Feels flat? I don't know. This one's pr this one might be tough. I'm not sure. I think it's I think this one's pretty good. Yeah, and the midi chorus sounds a little flat. I I think I agree with you on that one. Hold on. I mean, like the. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's not. E it's not even fair. It. Ah. <laughs> the flute cannot be beat, dude. Flute is undefeated. <laughs> ah. OG Roxas has the authentic, authentic feel. I agree. I think it's still really good, the OG. If maybe a little bit flat, but this is just like... Eh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! I'm crying! No! <laughs> it's not fair! Oh, man. Alright, yeah, this one, this one's definitely HD Remix. Is it time for Sora? Ah, oh, shit, dude. You guys, are you guys ready for this? I'm not sure if you guys are ready for this one. Oh, let's go. Bro, are we about to go on an adventure? <laughs> this is the good stuff. This is definitely the good stuff. Boom. All right, here we go. Oh, but this one's so good too! No! Which one do I choose? No! <laughs> oh no! It's so hard! <laughs> Come on! What do you mean? They're so good! <laughs> Oh, come on. That's not even fair, dude. It's not fair. <laughs> it's literally... They're both so good, dude. <laughs> They're both so good. I... The HD Remix one's this one. It's not even fair, dude. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> the flutes really are undefeated, dude. Oh, this one's classic, too. It's not as good as Lazy Afternoons, but this one's definitely classic. This will be a remix easily. You know, I think you might be right. I like this part. This part I like in, in the original a lot. Makes you want to stay inside and play video games all summer long. This shit's dope. All right, here we go. Afternoon streets. Y yeah, yeah. Uh, both in neck or neck for me. I, I think. Yeah, this one's this one's pretty solid. And then they bring in the strings, and it's like, ah, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on. It's not even... How dare you? How dare you do this to me? Yeah. Like, I think... Like, I think this is going to be a trend for the most part, usually, as we, as we go through this. If there's powerful wind instruments or strings going on, and, like, the whole piece kind of comes together, usually on more softer, more subtle themes the remix is going to win. But if not, and it gets a little bit too busy, that's usually when the OG kind of comes in and is like, yeah, dude, we're so fucking cool and shit. And I mean, that's where it, it, it gets a lot of, uh, a lot of brownie points for me personally. Ah, this guy, this fucking song. I used to hate this song so much when I was younger. I absolutely used to hate this song. <laughs> Ha 
I still don't like it. I, I like it a lot better now that I'm older. It's got them dudes. It's definitely got them dudes. So, believe it or not, chat, I'm actually going to jump ship on this one. I think I actually like the HD Remix version a little bit better. Uh, especially the second part of it is... is kind of... it's... It kind of it, it kind of gets really good. Like this part right here, I think I think is pretty good. Yeah, we, you gotta wait for the drop. The drop is kind of like where it gets really good. Yeah, it's super whimsical here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the remix kicks kicks butt on this one. I, I, I respect the original, cause I love the dudes. But like, I'm also like, wow, I kind of just like the whimsical sound of it better. <laughs> and the wind takes it home again. Undefeated. All right, friends in my heart. Let's go. Ooh, the feels. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. When I when I listen to this theme, I think about the end of the game, actually. Where uh, Roxas and Amine show up again. Oh, dude, the soft, um, the soft vocals in the background, the MIDI vocals. All right, let's uh, let's hop over to the other one before I start actually crying. And it's not gonna look, it's not gonna be pretty. See, it's not even like, this one's so good too. <laughs> I think the, the OG might have a special place in my heart just because of, you know, nostalgia, which, you know, is a powerful force. I, th I think the OG is like super, super beautiful. But the but the piano's very very delicate in this one. I, I don't know. It's weird. Like the the MIDI vocals actually uh, create a more like emotional response for me, which shouldn't shouldn't be the case, right? Like the, you should think like, oh, actual vocals will make a more emo emotional response. No, dude, the MIDI ones fuck me up, dude. Original it is, man. Here, I wanna I wanna listen to the here. I'm just like for one second, real quick. Yeah, yeah. This one's from the this one's from, <laughs> from the from the top rope. I'm I'm dead, dude. I'm annihilated. It's over. It's not even close. <laughs> Zad, shut the fuck up. I hate the song. I hate the song too. I kind of, I kind of dislike Yin Sid's tower. Yeah, it just reminds me of Yin Sid and how much you hate him. <laughs> oh yay, the plot! It's here. Great. I hate it. <laughs> God. All right, let's just go ahead and skip over. Let's just get this shit over with. <laughs> I think the remix might actually win this one. I'm not sure. The offbeat piano is more distracting on the remix. Hmm. I never really thought about it that way. All right, cool. HD remix. Let's get it over with. I'm out of here. Moving on. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is going to be night and day. Holy shit. The world map theme? Oh, dear God. Like, guys, I, I, I shit you not, when you listen to the remix version of this, you're not even going to recognize it. MIDI does work really well for this vibe, I agree. Alright, cool. Man, it's just Christmas, dude. Holy shit, those chimes.
this is just slander at this point. <laughs> yeah, it, I I remember listening to this when I was kind of like, I really, I, I don't think I feel this. I don't think I feel the change. OG definitely feels like an actual world map theme. And this is like, like I really don't know where they went, wh which direction they went with on this one. All right, OG it is. Sounds good. All right, moving on. Reviving Hollow Bastion. Do 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 do. OG easily. You know, I actually don't know. I need to wait until I listen to the remix first before I make a decision. Can we choose KH1 Hollow Bastion? I wish we could choose KH1 Hollow Bastion. I, I respect it for what this is. Reviving Hollow Bastion isn't too bad because it definitely gives you a feeling of like hope almost. It's still Hollow Bastion, but it's like, okay, yeah, so we're like rebuilding it. It's different. KH1 Hollow Bastion is like, this is the end of the game and it is mysterious and mystical and I'm gonna get my ass fucking kicked all day long. The violin's great, well, like it always is. The <laughs> the viol the violin is always great, but like this sounds like the BBS version, which I don't know. I'm kind of feeling the OG one, yeah. I don't know. Like I know those vocals are there, and that's supposed to kind of add to it, but I'm not really sure if I feel them all that much. I think I'm gonna go with the OG on this one. It's hard for me to decide. Maybe we should go back and listen to it? I don't know. But I'm gonna choose original. It feels darker like my OG KH1 Hollow Bastion. Yeah, and, and it's it's interesting. Like, I, and I can understand why people would like this one more, but it feels a little bit more like the Birth by Sleep Hollow Bastion theme. And while that's good in its own right, I'm also kind of like, I kind of like the OG better because it feels a little bit more like KH2. All right. We're gonna be here all night if we if we don't if we don't actually get moving here. But the piano is so good. It's just like percussion is really strong. I, I, percussion is just creates a really solid base and foundation to make everything else feel, you know, just sound better. Yeah, this one isn't what I would call a slapper. But it's good. It's still good. See, this one... This one actually sounds like it belongs to KH2. Because, like... How do I... I don't know how to put it. This song just sucks in general. I mean, yeah, kinda. Yeah, the, the violin is much, much better in this version. Cause it's so pronounced and out there. Oh yeah. All right, HD remix it is. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a huge sucker for Sherzo did not in, in two. I, I, I'm, I'm like, it's okay, it's there. It's just kind of forgettable. Goofy's dead. Let's go. I think the original. See, this is where Midi kind of like kicks kicks out because like it gives you that whimsical like you're a kid feeling. Midi just kind of captures that so much nicer. All right, listen, let's listen to the next one. 
Okay. Hold on. See that? Okay. I mean that that part's good. Like the, the like the violin is good. It 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 sounds good to the ear, but it, like the OG is like. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm like fucking Saturday and I'm like Donald and Goofy are doing shit. It's like, uh, 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 uh. The original just kind of captures that energy really well. And I think it's just kind of the nature of of the MIDI. All right, here we go. Big, big boy moment. Desire for all that is lost. Oh, fuck. You guys are going to have to decide. The piano is so powerful, as well as the percussion. The percussion is just like, like, the, we're, we are going somewhere, dude. We are fucking going somewhere with that percussion. Man, that's that's so it's so disgustingly good, and I, I, I it's gonna be good here too on the remix on the remix version. See, this is this is a tough one. This is a fucking toughie. The strings are good. The strings are fantastic in this version. But I, wh but where's the piano? I literally can't hear it. I like, I need to turn up the volume. Where is it? The piano's like, I can't even find it. This part's nice though. Where's the piano? I can't even hear it. Like I literally, it's not even, it's not front and center like the the original one. Like they really decided like, oh man, the strings really need to be the front and center of this one. And I'm like, I don't know, dude. I think the piano was really kicking ass in the original. I mean, I can hear the piano, but like the piano is like that. And it's also the percussion too, right? The percussion, like once again, it's just that foundation. It's just like, it feels like we're fucking going somewhere. Yeah, I, man, desire for all that is lost. It's so, it's so sick. It's such a sick, oh shit, my bad. It's such a sick theme. I'm a huge sucker for the original. But that's just me. You guys are gonna find out that I am I am the I'm the disgusting OG PS2 MIDI purist, and I, I don't like anything that's new ever. Ever. <laughs> oh that piano, dude. This, yeah, so KH2 sounds in general have this very natural reverb to them, which I find really interesting. I never, you never really notice it until you like really listen for it, but man, it makes it feel like it's just so big. Listen to that one. Let's listen to the HD version. Oh, but this one's so good too. Hold on. Okay, we need to get to the actual vocals first. Feels hollow. I guess that makes sense, cause you know, <laughs> organization thirteen. I like the vocals more, actually. This one just makes you feel sad. You're just like, fuck, dude. I'm depressed. Forty degrees and it's raining outside and it's gray and I got my hoodie on and I'm emo and shit. Uh. Imagine two twenty uh, two thousand six and being emo. <laughs> <laughs> Ansem the Wise, you look pathetic. Hmm. 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 Uh. 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 Fuck this song. <laughs> It sounds dope in the o the OG actually. This is the um this is the startup. Uh, this is like the gummy ship garage theme. Everybody skips over it because they're just like they want to get going. Uh, hold on, let me. <laughs> I 
Do the guitar, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. It has record scratches. It does, dude. What the fuck? It's so stupid. Damn, chat really voting for remix on this one, huh? All right. I'm going OG on this one because I think it actually just sounds nicer. I mean, it's funny. I think this is hilarious, but like... Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Not to be confused with Shibmeister. This seems really good. I think this seems really good, actually. It's the Magic School Bus theme, it is. <laughs> that guitar dude is back, dude. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's in the background, dude. He's just there, he's just like, mm, don't worry, I'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> just you guys wait. <laughs> I think the OG sounds better here as well. Not to like, not to say that this one's bad, but I just, I think the OG sounds better personally. They're both bad, OG is just less bad. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't think they're like, they're too terrible, but like, you know. You know what, actually, I will include this. This, this matters. Oh yeah. This is arcade themes. Oh shit. <clears throat> this is such a short theme. We're gonna make this real quick. Alright, here we go. That guitar dude is back, dude! He's back! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guitar guy. <laughs> He's back! He won't give up. You know, if I had to listen to it, I think I'd actually listen to Guitar Guitar Dude just shred this. <laughs> he's he's the true champion. <laughs> the guitar kind of fucks though. Yeah, I'm actually. Let's see. You guys are choosing choosing remix. I'm gonna go with remix on Blast Off. I think it's actually pretty good. Yeah, there kind of is a guitar in the background in the original. Okay. Seems good. Asteroid attack over here. He's kind of relegated to the background in this one. He's really not doing anything. The guitar, the guitar guy is just kind of like, you know, I'm waiting my turn. I'm waiting my turn. Don't worry, I will be back. I think I like the OG on this one too. Both, yeah, no, both versions are just sort of okay. All right, remix it is then. Cool. All right. I'm waiting for Guitar Dude to fucking go the fuck off later on in the stream. He's gonna melt your guys' brains. Mm. Chat full of remix randals. Yeah, I think there there definitely is a distinct uh, a distinct bias towards the the remix going on in chat. All right, crossing the finish line. What do we got over here? Oh shit. Damn, this is clean. Dudes versus Guitar Man. I think Guitar Man wins this wins this version because I think it actually, yeah, it, it feels a little bit more forceful. I I am gonna you know what I'm gonna hop off of the original bandwagon and I'll give you guys uh I'll give you guys this one for the remix. Yeah, the Disney World songs I think is gonna be another interesting decision. Yeah, this shit's good. It's big fucking dudes. 
I think the real clarinets will clean house though. Yeah, I will see. I think I think you guys will probably like like them way more than the uh, the OG. At least just you know, basing it off of what you guys have voted for so far. This is tough. This is actually really hard. I think the remix... Like, I think they both sound like a waltz. But this one actually feels like it's got some, like, very nice flow to it. This one is too pronounced. I personally like the pronounced, uh, like the pronounced one here. Man, okay, you know what, chat? I'm going up. How many in a row? One, two, three, four, five, seven in a row? Look at me. Look how much variety I've got going on. I mean, I'm even giving you guys this one. Fucking remix Randall's in chat. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Wow, that harpsichord in the background. Holy shit. Man, like, okay, so, like, ignoring the whole, like, OG versus remix, like, god, fucking, how did she do it? How did, how does, <laughs> it's 2006, and just, like, can you make a waltz in the MIDI on PS2? And, she, and Yoko's just like, no problem, I got this shit, boop. <laughs> just presses a button, just instantly creates amazing music. I mean, that's a really good flute, right? Or whatever that. The flute's really good. I agree. See, those, okay. <sighs> See, that part's really good. Like, so the remix, I'm, I want to point it out. The remix does this thing where it kind of like has its own little, like it just kind of adds something in, in some of these phrases. And this part here with the violins, I'm a huge sucker for it if it if it works well and it works so well in this theme. Which is sad because I'm going to vote original because the original is actually just fucking like wow. Reign of the Remix has ended with Dance of the Daring. Let's go chat. <laughs> Evil shit is happening. I just wanted to let you know chat that evil shit is happening. Spooky. This is very spooky, actually. Holy shit. I do hear the harp, yeah. I'm not really sold on it, though. It's not like, ooh, that harp. Yeah, the OG just kind of has this, like atmospheric feel to it just i don't know if it's just the nature of midi or what it is Ooh, god do you hear that oh god oh oh i'm scared i'm gonna die help <laughs> oh my god oh man the original just barely ekes it out at the end Ooh, i'm scared <laughs> it's spooky dude oh shit God damn. All right. Dance to the death. Ooh, this one's going to be. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Push that rat queen. God damn. And this is fantastic. Yeah, the, the instruments are like all doing their job on that one, that's for sure. All right, what do you got, HD Remix? 
Yeah, I, I distinctly remember Dance to the Death in the remix for its for its strings again. And I mean, the strings are very, they, they sweep really nicely and I like them. And I, I, I like this in the background too. But yeah, that, that drum is very, very muted and it feels like it, there's not really much of a march to it, which, which is I think is really important for a song like this. Yeah, it's not as intense as the, I don't know what it is, but there's something about the OG that just has this constant like tense feeling to it. Damn, OG took three in a row on chat. Are you, can you, are you kidding me? What's happening? <laughs> oh, okay. So, chat, I think, I think we both know what's gonna happen. I think, I think we both know what's about to happen in this one. Yeah, there's a huge, huge difference. This is good, like, like, it's good for PS2. I think this is, like, fine. It's fine. And then we go over to, uh, to the remix, and it's, uh... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you can't... You gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. it. It's, it's very, very authentic. And I think that makes a huge difference. Like... Not just because, like, oh, it sounds correct. It's like, this sounds just really nice. Like, they couldn't do what... They could not do this on the PS2, and now they can. That's, like, one of the big benefits of, of having all these different instruments and doing a remix. Not really much else to be said here. It's just, it sounds very fantastic. And the same thing is going to happen with Fields of Honor. It's the same exact shit. Which, I mean, this sounds good, too. I, I actually like it. <laughs> this one's pretty fun. Yeah, the percussion is great, which just <laughs> PS2 definitely does that. I think that Fields of Honor is definitely a lot closer to the remix. I mean, let's 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 listen to it and actually like give it a chance, like a proper chance. And it's still bumping. Like typically, like I've always said, that the remix kind of falls flat when it comes to the drums. The drums are here; they're good. I can hear those I can hear those trumpets in the background trying so hard. Those poor, poor trumpets. I don't know what happened. But the rest of the song is so fantastic that it kinda makes up for it. Both are good. I I like Field of Honor a little bit better, yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. When was this? Are we playing MG yet? So this is, I'm pretty sure, when the um, the avalanche happens. Yeah, it plays in a lot of cutscenes, so people kind of forget about it. Let's listen to it on the remix. It sounds pretty much the same. This part's kind of this part's kind of banging because yeah, they I don't know what it is. I don't know they apprehended these metal sounds, and they made it slap a little bit nicer. I wish the horns sounded better in the remix. God fucking damn it. It's okay though. I, I think the rest of it kind of makes up for it. So yeah, remix for this one. All right, big boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so tough. <laughs> this is gonna be so tough. Oh God. Oh, the OG is so fucking good. Ah! <laughs> Man, I it <laughs> it's so it's so good. <laughs> How did she do this on the PS2? I really don't know. Like I'm actually like I question it a lot. I'm like, how? <laughs> how is this even possible? <laughs> this is where the budget went. All right, let's listen to the remix version. And it's good too. I think okay, so I, I think I know which one I'm gonna choose, just kind of based off of that initial part. Oh god. Yeah, like again, this is one of those things where like the piano feels a little bit too staccato, and uh, they really accentuated the strings again. It's kind of a running theme, but like, god, it's just there's so much power on the OG, dude. 
Yeah, so like, you know, that's something that I didn't even notice. So in this in this ending part, the piano is accentuated mo way more in the uh, the original. And then they go for the strings, I think, in the uh, in the remix. Like, I'm not listening to the piano. I'm listening to the, the strings. And I'm a piano guy. Like, I mean, I like strings. I'm not trying to say, like, I'm a, sh I'm a hater for strings. But, like, I think, I, I think that the piano is so... It's so good <laughs> in the MIDI. I don't understand. It's really good. This is pure resident sleeper. It's kind of neat. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's kind of forgettable. Yeah, Vin kind of already mentioned it. I, it's kind of forgettable for me. There's not a mu there's not enough going on to keep me engaged. I'm, I think the HD remix does a little bit more with it. It's the same at the start. Do do do. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is like a cleaned up version of the original. I think the uh, there's just really not much going on for this theme, so it's totally, it's totally forgettable. Is this the same as KH1? It's pretty much the same. It's like a little bit different. You don't really notice it much because you're thinking about the underworld the whole time, but yeah. Anyway, uh, what do we got here? I like this. Yeah, I like this. I like this nice. It just comes back over and over. Yeah, I guess you're right. I think the remix is kind of killing this one. Not to like make it, you know, you know, the original, it's good. I think this one kind of captured it a little bit better. Oh, it even added those little thingy, those little thingies that you never noticed. Cool. Uh, Road to a Hero. Uh, uh. Earns. Yeah. Once again, it feels like it's got that percussion to it that I I personally really like. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think the OG kind of just has that percussion and it just kind of powers through this one. Cool, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do that. We can move on and just listen to the underworld now. Yeah, the xylophone's definitely super nice. It's kind of a forgettable, forgetful song, forgettable song because it's for forgettable world. Doom. Forgettable world, but Orin. I mean, Orin's cool. He didn't really have much going on. I mean, like it's it's cool that he's in the underworld. It's like that's kind of neat. They decided to throw in that FF10 character here, but. Yeah, the remix sounds good. There really wasn't much going on in the original. And uh, I think the remix kind of punches it up a little bit nicer. Forgettable music. Let's go ahead and listen to uh, What Lies Beneath. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, there we go. I think it is a bassoon. Remix. Uh, 
That's a deep bassoon. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the vi God, it's so powerful. <laughs> it's definitely like the biggest feature, I think, of the of the remi remix remixes. And then this right here. It's really good. I, I think it's actually really nice. I'm kind of in agreement. Yeah, remix here seems pretty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> good old Disney villains. <laughs> theme, theme of Maleficent doing fucking nothing. I, I think it sounds the same except for that little piano thing. Someone was hungry during recording. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Looks like chat wants HD remix. I'm going to go original. I think original sounds nicer. Oh, man. We are jamming. <laughs> Y'all ready to do some cups? I'm pretty biased. I, I actually literally could not believe what I was hearing when they did the uh, the remix version of this. The remix is unreal. <laughs> Wait for the drop. Okay, okay, hold on. Wait, wait. Now, right here. No, really? Damn. I think this might actually be the first one where you guys go OG and I go remix. The best track in the series. God. I hate this song. I hate it so much. Not this version, I just collectively hate this song. This song slaps though. Look, I'm not a big fan of just fucking do 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 over and over again. Alright, cool. What does the remix got? Like, for as much as I hate this song, I actually really like the remix. Yeah, the remix has got this, like, nice flow. It's got this nice build-up to it. Alright, remix it is. Oh! That's what this theme is. You kind of I kind of forget that it's even in this game. Yeah, it's- it's- it's way more famous for- for it being in KH1. It plays in Donald and Goofy prominent scenes. It's so cute. I love it. I'm a big fan. All right, what do you got, Mr. Walking on Dante in the remix? You know, the original sounds very, very cute, which I think is appropriate for Disney characters. But this is like super calming. And it's yeah, it's really it's really sweet and gentle. The flute once again remains undefeated. I think I think the remix kind of takes this one. This will be you know this is actually going to be interesting because I think this is also kind of a night and day sort of situation because they purposely make it sound a lot more like old in the remix version. I think the filters are included by default. This is another theme that's super cute. Wow, this is mono, holy shit. Yeah, it's like remastered with all these amazing instruments and then they're like, let's make it old. Have to pick remix for a theming. I don't know, I, you know, I honestly wouldn't blame you if you picked either the original or remix here. I think I'm gonna go with remix on this one, surprisingly. Uh, ooh, this is a banger. This is actually a slapper. D 
those symbols are so compressed. I love it. Man, this shit's this shit goes, man. Yeah, the sound filtering kind of like kind of kills it here a little bit, especially when it comes to the percussion. Cuz you can hear the percussion like clear as clear as crystal. But you can't really hear it with uh, the distortion in the in the HD remix. The dude is way better in OG. The dude's always better in OG. All right, original it is. Sounds good. We're approaching pirates. See, I feel like this wouldn't be a. Uh, I feel like this wouldn't be a KH2 listening theme stream if we didn't listen to He's a Pirate. So I think I'm gonna listen to it, even if the DMCA might come uh, come for me. I'm definitely gonna listen to He's a Pirate. I'm gonna listen to the MIDI and I'm gonna listen to the remix because it's just so funny. It's so funny the difference between the two of them. Wow, that synth! Holy shit! Wow, it sounds really, really light. The remix is kicking, but oh my god! Yeah, I don't. I don't think we need to listen too much here. I think. I think this sounds fantastic. All right, Bouncerama. Is the sped up version on the list? I mean, it's just the sped up version, so I didn't think that there needed to be like a... I, di I didn't want to put it down twice. Here, if you guys want to listen to the sped up version, we can also listen to it. And now we're going fast. <laughs> How do I delete? This goddamn world. <laughs> Alright, let's listen to just the sped up version. Man, that synth, dude. Holy shit. You're very serious about that. Oh, this one sounds really cute, too. this one as like as far as like a mini game I kind of like it all right Knights of the Curse oh shit dude it's so weird like I've just kind of like internalized that uh, Pirates of the Caribbean is in Kingdom Hearts 2 but when I think about it more it's like what the fuck is this world doing here Yeah, I'm amazed that, like, MIDI actually, like, nails this one. It's actually pretty good. I like how mysterious it sounds with the remix. Yeah, it's got this, it's got this sinister sound to it. And then that build up right there. And then the choir. That's, yeah. It's got this jaunty rhythm to it. All right, chat. It's time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so many dudes, dude. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love. I unironically love the shit out of this. It sounds. It sounds so fun. It. I'm, they're having such a fucking great time. No, I, I really enjoy this. Like, I know. I know that the remix is a million times better. But God, <laughs> it's just so fun. I can't not love it. It's. It's so great. It is so goddamn great. All right. I will. Uh, I will risk getting my stream DMCA'd. This just sounds so good. They really fucking 
mm, kicked it out of the fuck. Like, this blew my mind when they actually played this. I was like, I cannot believe they put the movie version. <laughs> it's literally Hans Zimmer. How did they do this? Yeah, it's like, it's just such a, it's such an iconic theme. And the fact that they, like, recreated it so perfectly. Yeah, Night and... It's... It's... It's just really good. And they did... And they decided not to have it play in Cage 3. Which is like... Okay, sure. More dudes! Let's go! <laughs> so, you know what? Okay. What do you guys think? Which one do you guys think is better? I'm very curious. Because I, I know this is, like, a collectively, like... Everyone just doesn't like this song. I think the remix actually makes this a very, very cool song. I definitely did not like it in the in the PS2. I think like once I listened to the remix, I was like, oh, that's what it's supposed to sound like. Like I didn't really get it in the in in the on the PS2. And I'm like, oh, okay, so like. The dudes actually sound better on the remix all of a sudden. It's like, okay. I know I'm like, I'm being super biased here. You guys can vote however which way you, li you like. Yeah, the violin is a lot for it. And then like right here, the little offbeat piano sounds. It's like, oh shit, the piano! It finally sounds good. <laughs> Yeah, the, the staccato piano sounds real. I'm like, oh, that's what it's supposed to sound like. It plays during a, a lot of bad boss fights. So it's it's a little bit unfortunate. All right, Hazardous Highway. Aw, look at that MIDI guitar. He's trying so hard. He's, he's trying so hard. Yeah, it's cute, but it also feels like it doesn't really it's not really doing anything. It's almost like the last song. It's like, it's like I kind of I get it. Like, what do you want? What do you What are you trying to be? It's like I, I don't I don't understand the concept yet, right? Yeah, it's not it's not the greatest. And then God, it's just <laughs> guitar guy, dude. He found his way. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> and the synth too? God damn. <laughs> yeah, we went from like Sonic to F fucking zero. Holy shit. I'm listening to this shit, I'm like, am I playing Kingdom Hearts still? <laughs> oh yeah, you're still playing Kingdom Hearts, dude. Oh my god, it's great, dude. I'm just going in the order of the playlist, that's all it is. Yeah, so like right here, like this little violin section, you can really tell, like, how the MIDI is kind of limited a little bit. Although I still think it sounds really good. And then I think, this is, it's just another one of those songs that I think the HD remix takes advantage of. I think it's pretty good. Like, it's it's not like it's bad. It's not like I'm listening to it, I'm just like, ugh. But like, I listen to this and I'm just like, well, shit, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, like in a, in a very surprising change of events, I, I'm like, oh shit, man, where, the, here it is, there's the percussion, shit. I can hear the bass. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. Man, we are on a streak. We are on a streak of HD Remix, dude. Holy fuck. Okay, here we go. It, it's different than the KH1 version, yeah. It's still good. Doo -doo -doo. Here's the HD version. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah! <laughs> Like, no, no discredit to the original. It's just... It, it sounds fantastic on this one. Yeah, this is this is another one of those, like, yup, better instruments, and, and we have a better idea of what we're, we're going for as far as a uh, Arabian theme. Ooh! All right, uh, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the remix. God, it's so bassy. God, every single, every single Agrabah track is just so goddamn bassy. I'm going with the HD remix on this one. This is good. Man, I'm like actually kind of impressed. I'm surprised. So th you know, this actually might be where I where I get off the remix train. I don't know what it is, but it's the same with the 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 1.5 version and the 2.5 version. I don't know what it is about the HD remix that I just don't like, but I really really like th this version. Oh yeah, the the percussion is in the background. The dudes are just fucking going off like crazy. Yeah, there's there's something that's just off, I think, with this one. Yeah, it's the percussion. That's it. I think that's really what it is. I think the OG just has this nasty ass percussion. That's kick ass. It does that light, nice nice little movement, and I'm like, that's cute. I like it. But I also just really love that, like, oh man, we're you know, battle sort of feeling in the original. I think the OG, we're finally breaking the remix uh, train. I think OG wins this one. It's so cute. I never played FM back in the day, so I didn't have any attachment to the original. Yeah. That might, that might influence people a little bit. I think that it's like super cute in the MIDI. But I also think that the remix version just might also sound better. Cause this is another one of those things where I think the instruments are just exclusively better on the, the remixed version. Yeah, yeah. The flute's just slaying, dude. That flute is in the background and he is body bagging up everybody. <laughs> He's slaying. Alright. Boom. HD remix. Makes sense. I think it might be the same thing with Happy Holidays as well. Sleigh bells! You guys hear those sleigh bells in the background? I love it. And it makes sense too, because it's Christmas Town. And it's also, it's another one of those faster songs that gets, it gets that percussion buff, you know, be, by being on MIDI. Just, I don't know. It, it seems to be like a, a consistent theme. Let's listen to the remix. Instead of like having just like a very consistent, just like one, two, three, four, this one's like, boom, boom. It's got this. It's got this bop to it. It's hard shit. I don't know, dude. Which one do I fucking pick? Like, this is actually like difficult. They're both so. I'm gonna go with the original. Uh, but I think they're both really good for different reasons. It's actually. It's so hard to actually choose. We're almost done with the Disney worlds, dude. We were so close. IMO underrated songs. This one's got a nice little, this one's got a nice little rhythm to it, even though there's really not much else going on. Yeah, this track does play well to the MIDI strengths. I think, I think you're right. I, th I think this is where the MIDI actually kind of shines through.
Yeah, the xylophone kind of blows, yeah. But... The percussion in a strange turn of events actually feels richer. I think I'm gonna go with the remix on this one. On this one specifically, I think it actually sounds really good. Which is like surprising to me, I was not expecting to do that. All right, Savannah Pride. This, I, I think, you know what, I, I think the OG's gonna slay on this one. I think the OG's definitely gonna slay on this one. It's a battle theme, it's got that that sense of urgency, that rushedness to it. And this part right here, like the horns are like, are bop, this is a bop. This is actually bopping pretty hard. Oh no, what is that? That's the percussion? You're kidding, you're kidding, <laughs> no way. Hold on, wait, where is it? What? I mean, the horns sound good, but that's the only part that sounds good. What happened? And that's it? Oh my, yeah, wow. Holy motherfucking shit. Pull? We don't even need a pull. Oh my god. All right, all right, chat. Have fun deciding on this one. Yeah, this is really hard to beat. This is so good. <laughs> the strings sound really good so far. Oh, those poor horns in the background. Like, I don't, so, like, I, this is my thing. Like, I don't really know if it's like the mixing or if it's the player or what, but that percussion just kind of, yeah, they're fart trumpets. Like, I really don't know what's going on. See, like, this movement right here with the with the violin is like, mm, this is the good shit. This is actually one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to have this cage talk, is because I think a lot of people don't recognize that the percussion is really weak in the, uh, especially in, like, really critical moments like this. Like, this is the encounter, and the percussion is just strangely weak, and I don't understand why. I think MIDI has the advantage in a beat boost based world. I kind of agree. Like the MIDI, like it, here, it's like the MIDI actually sounds correct. Like this is the correct sound for it. I mean, I think I see what they're doing here. Like it's not bad, but I also, okay, well, first let's actually like let it start going somewhere. Yeah, we gotta wait for the drop first before we make any more final decisions. Yeah, this is- okay, this is an example where I think it's actually a little too busy. Like, they're trying to do too much here. Yeah, exactly. I like that. All right, uh, remix. It's a little, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go with the original on this one. Again, like, I think it's just, it's really hard to battle MIDI when it sounds just so appropriate for the world itself. Damn, it's 50-50. Oh, shit! Oh, the original just squeaks by. Holy shit. All right, chat. We've got some heavy hitters coming. We've finally cleared all the Disney songs. It's time for some... It's time for some heavy hitters coming. This is so good. 
Is that the xylophone? Is that the xylophone just like kicking ass right now? Man, that's crazy. And then it's got this like, once again, it's got this really nice percussion to it. It's good here too. Yeah, they're both good. It doesn't have that percussion, but like the strings are like, I think the strings kind of play to the advantage of, advantages of the song. I think I'm gonna go with Remix on this one. I was not expecting to. I was totally expecting to go with the OG on this one, but I think the OG actually just plays more to the advantages of the song. Oh man, the dudes. Oh, the dudes. You know, okay, so I uh, there, the other thing. Oh, that sounds that sounds amazing right there. Yeah, the the percussion is really powerful. The horns are great. The organ is fantastic. And then the piano is about to kick some ass like in in 2 seconds. Just wait. And then the chorus just makes it sound so ground, ground, grand at the end. It's perfect, dude. It's so good. Guys, can you hear the organ? I can't hear the organ. Like, I can barely hear it. This piano sounds good. What is this other piece of percussion next to it? I think, yeah, no, I, see, I think, man, like, this is good, but I, I genuinely think the OG is, is perfect. Like, I, the, the OG is, like, it, oh my god, I, I, it, it's, everything has its, like, moment, right? It's such a good theme. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's strong, it's sinister, it's intense, it's, like, everything that it needs to be. <laughs> oh god, it's so funny. Yeah, this is like... It's kind of... This is like the KH1 version, almost. It's MIDI One-Winged Angel. It's trying its best. It's so cute. It thinks it can compete with the big boys. I'm now terrified. Oh, go off, horns, go. Definitely go off. God, those vi- I am <laughs> screaming death. <laughs> we don't need to do a poll. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why is this so good? Like, God, it, it, like, it's so weird. It took me, like, a couple of playthroughs to recognize, like, oh, this is just, like, a really cool gummy mission theme. Oh, <laughs> They recognized that their violin was their best strength, so they decided to make it do the <laughs> the melody. That's funny. I think that the percussion just sounds a little bit too good for this one. I think the OG. I think the OG sounds better. I think I definitely like the OG on this one. This this song sounds to me like the violins are trying to make up for the other weaknesses of the orchestra. Whereas the OG just kind of has everything together. It sounds more full. Yeah, exactly. But the violin, like, I get it. You guys all have a giant heart on for the violin. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding. All right, battle to the death. All right. Yeah, I, I'm i going with OG on this one. You guys clearly couldn't make a decision. So I'm just leaving it blank, you pieces of shit. <laughs> oh, God. It's so good. This is another one of my huge favorites. Oh, 
This is the best part, right here. This is it. Because the percussion is just doing so goddamn much. That choir is kicking butt, the piano is kicking butt, and it's all being lifted by this awesome fucking percussion that's just moving everything along. This shit's fucking delicious. It's my favorite, dude. It's so good. And this one's good, too. I don't think that it moves quite the same as the original, but the choir is very haunting, which I think gets a lot of people. The piano sounds really good right here, actually. Original feels like it's great. It's the great weight of a final dungeon, but the remix is just hella mysterious and ominous. Yeah, no, I think I think they're good for different reasons. Yeah, I, I, I think the percussion in the OG is just like, actually kind of drives it home. Damn, you guys went with Remix. Damn. All right. I think the choir is like a tad weak on this one. But outside of that, this is like really nice. HD Remix. Fire, what are you doing? I mean, okay. I don't like the vocals. I think that's the only thing that I don't like. Okay, yeah, HD Remix wins this one. For that, for that alone, for that and that alone. <laughs> this one's gonna be really hard. Because the piano, yeah, the piano is really good in the OG. That swell is crazy good. Oh man. Yeah, this is gonna need a two minute poll for sure. This one's so good, God. You would you would think that the uh, the HD remix has the advantage here with the instruments that it uses, and it's good, but like wow. Oh man, it's gonna hit, dude. I think it's so, I think it's so even. I think it's so even. It's so hard, dude. It's so hard. No, no. I'm choosing OG. I'm choosing the OG on this one. It's so hard though. So good, <laughs> dude. It's so good. This is actually, you know, it's funny because they didn't give Sora, Riku, and Kairi themes until KH2. So this is the first time you ever hear it. God, it's so good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the guitar, dude. This one's good, too. I have to pick? Are you kidding me? This isn't fair. I have to pick again? 
It's so stupid. No, I'm gonna choose the OG on this one. No, 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 I'm going with OG on this one. That's crazy. All right, what's, cr I forget what this theme is. Oh, here we go, okay. I now remember. Time to weigh anchor, Captain Pete. <laughs> Let's go, Doot Doot. My man Doot Doot is back. He is here. Yeah, it only plays like twice. It's kind of, it's like, oh yeah, that's right. That was there. Oh man, this is the ultimate battle. Violin versus Doot Doot. Who will win? I'm a violin slut. I know. I know a lot of you guys are, are violin sluts. I'm not. I'm definitely not. Alright, HD Remix for you guys. Original for me. I love the doot doots. Ooh. Ooh, that choir though. Oh, fuck. It's so spooky, dude. Doots! Do, do, do. <laughs> Go, dudes! Go, my dudes! Oh my god. <laughs> Man, it's so good. So powerful. Piano Man wants to play the fucking low keys. Oh, and then the and then the strings are also complementing it as well. The dudes are supposed to be front and center. This is the part where the dudes are supposed to be front and center. No. Everything is kind of setting a base, and then right here it's supposed to be this fucking. Like impending, just. I am definitely going with the uh, the OG. Looks like you guys are too. I'm not trying to say that this is like a bad one because it's not. It's clearly not. I definitely prefer the powerful dudes. It, it, like it, it feels like it all comes together in the KH2 one, which is just like another one of those theme themes about it. Things about it. This is one of the best themes in the whole game. This is actually like... <laughs> it's so hard to decide. Also, yeah, as you as you probably noticed, I divided Darkness of the Unknown into three parts. Because it is a three-parter. All right, uh, let's listen to the remix. This one, it takes a while to kind of get into it. They're really so good. They're both good. They're both good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the nod to the HD remix on this one. I think it actually, the drop like for is like so powerful. Uh, and I think like it has enough moving parts that are just like really, really good. It, it has some good advantages to, to it. So I'm definitely willing to give it, give it the, the nod. I love this first part. It's so impending. Oh no, it's the worst part and it's still so good. It's not fair. I think it's unfortunate because you have to do the dragon part, which everyone uni universally hates. Like, nobody likes to do the dragon part. Ooh! Did you guys hear that? Oh my god! Where- where has this percussion been all soundtrack long? What the fuck, dude? Holy shit, dude. I don't remember this at all. It's so good. Oh, man.
That organ is just fucking on fire right now. It's gonna be so hard with the drop change, yeah. Can you believe this boss fight is so boring? It's literally just a dude in a chair. It's so epic, dude. It, it, no, it's an amazing set piece, but when you think about it, it's just a dude in a chair. <laughs> Man. Hold on. What a jammer, dude. Yeah, I think I think this one plays towards chat's violin cock. Cause you guys just absolutely love the violin so much. They're both really good. So I think what's different here is that there's like I I I can't believe it, but yeah, they saved all of the percussion and this feeling of like a march for this drop. This one right here. They kind of fell flat on a lot of percussion bits, and then they were like, okay, so this one, we really want you guys to, like, start playing. And we're like, oh, God, fucking, oh, do I get to get paid finally? Okay, God, I'm going to go now. I'm going to do it. So that's good. All right, time for part three. Oh, man. <laughs> Does it slow down, dude? Oh, that organ. Yeah, it's so hollow feeling. Ooh, this right here. All right, and now we got to find it in this one. That harp. That harp is different. I, I appreciate the harp. I don't know if I like it better than the original, but I, I think it's really cool. I don't think I like the choir in this one. I think I like the choir better in the OG. This doesn't feel like it builds up nearly as well as the OG does. Yeah, I kind of like the OG better on this one. Not that this is bad or anything, but I think the OG is actually like really surprisingly good, c uh, considering it's it's fighting up, it's going up against uh, like really real orchestra. I think the OG wins the finale. I think the I think the, the HD remix really showed its giant fucking cock for part one and part two. But I think that OG actually really nails it on part three. It's like a hollow feeling, but it's also like this. Oh my god, this is. The end for me it's the choir i think because the choir makes me makes it feel spooky oh my god <laughs> oh! can you believe this is on the ps2 can you believe this is a kingdom hearts theme oh my god so much about this theme just like fucking is unbelievable to me <laughs> it's so good. This is good too. It sounds different than that like water theme from before. This is hard. I think I think I'm I'm going OG on this one. I think I'm going OG on this one. This one, this is like a very, very, very good remix. They're really similar, yeah. I think, I think I'm going OG on this one. I don't think the OG can be beat. Like I, like it, it, it blows me away every single time I listen to it. <laughs> okay, I saw the snipe. I saw the snipe. Holy shit. Whoever did it. Whoever did it? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my 
my god! Uh, deep anxiety next. Oh man. <laughs> it's so good, dude. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> This is like a this is anxiety, dude. This is Monka fucking steer. This is like I'm gonna fucking die, dude. I am in nobody wave three, and it is just never ending. Nobody after nobody. Oh god, sorcerers now. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god, I don't have any MP. Oh god, I'm out of drive. I gotta run around for my fucking life. God, it's great. Alright. So, I think the reason that I don't quite like this one nearly as well is because it leans too- which is gonna- it's gonna sound really stupid. But I think that it leans too much into the percussion. Like, I- I liked- I liked the OG for not having the percussion in it. And it- and it feels more anxious. This is more- th this isn't as tense. This is just more of like a- like a- like a march. Whereas the original is just like this- like the piano and just like this. The OG piano is just like, it's just so fantastic. Oh man. Oh man. Dudes. Go my dudes. I'm a v I'm a I, I cannot believe this slander. I cannot believe this slander. The amount of times that I have that I have highlighted the violin and been like, dude, that shit fucking sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm about to close the stream right now. <laughs> oh man. This shit sounds amazing. This one's gonna be a tough one, I think. <laughs> The piano and remix knows, dude. It is pretty evil. I'm definitely going OG on this one. I respect you guys going on remix, for sure. I'm definitely going OG. We've made it to the end, chat. Now you must face the man in the armor. It's the Master Xehanort final. Shut the fuck up, Zad. Oh my god. And that organ is going. Jesus Christ. That organ is going. What about Fate of the Unknown? It's the same in both versions. All right, chat, choose. <laughs> choose my puppets. I choose violins, I respect it, I respect it. This part's nice. The violin is absolutely so front and center on this one. Which, I mean, if you like violins, then it's probably, you know, it's probably your thing. I'm going OG on this one for sure. 100%. Again, not to discredit this one, not to say, like, it's bad or that I hate it, but I definitely, I think the OG really has a lot more going for it. Yeah, the OG just moves my goddamn soul, dude. I think a lot of you guys see violin and you immediately click like, and you're like, oh, dude, violin, it go loud, and it's like really pretty, and I like it, so I'm gonna click like, and that's fucking fine, but I think that the OG deserves a little bit more fucking credit, all right? That's all I'm fucking saying.
That is all I am saying. I respect you violin sluts, okay? I get it. I understand. It sounds really pretty, and I'm with you. I'm not trying to say it's not pretty. That you, you should probably put some more respect on, on some of the other aspects, too. Dudes sound funny. Dude, that, dude, I mean, they do. It's not just the dudes. It's, it's more of like a, it's more of a feeling of motion, of going somewhere. And he, like a lot of the times, on a lot of these battle themes, it makes so much sense. Like, we're going on a fucking adventure chat I, I wanted to, I needed to culture you guys all right I had I, I gotta I gotta be the one to tell you I gotta be the one to be like you know what I like this one for different reasons because it doesn't just have violin that go like anybody could like listen to dream drop distance and be like oh my god listen to those final battle themes they've got they've got violin violin make me make my pee pee go hard and and I, I think it's so good and I'm like yeah that's great and I respect that, and they do sound good, but have you listened to like the other 90% of the Dream Drop Distance soundtrack? Cause I gotta say, it's not all amazing. I think everybody can agree almost unanimously that uh, Yoko's music is fantastic.